in this example, we will see the Shannon theorem in action. Let's consider the case where we have a sampling frequency of 1 Hz. You see at each second a white zone which indicates the sampling instance. Also we see the Nyquist frequency here, a sine wave with that frequency, which is a frequency of 0.5 Hz, so it's half the sampling frequency, is the highest frequency which can be resolved with that grid. Let's take a low frequency signal here with 0.2 Hz. You see the signal in real time with the solid blue line and you see the values at the sampling instance indicated by the small circles. Now we can increase the frequency of the signal and see what happens when the signal frequency approaches half the sampling frequency, which is the Nyquist frequency. So becoming faster and faster, this signal now has the highest possible frequency that is reconstructed exactly. You see that we get a maximum at one sampling instant and a minimum at the next sampling instant and so on. If we now increase the signal frequency further slightly, in red here, you see that we now have more than half a period occurring within one sampling duration. You see that the maximum has already passed at second one, for example. Now, the point is that there is also a lower frequency. We now indicate that by dropping the frequency again. And now you see that we find a frequency which is in the same frequency distance of the Nyquist frequency, um, in this case lower, the blue one is slower, at 0.4 Hz, the Nyquist frequency was 0.5 Hz, and the high frequency signal here has 0.6 Hz. So there is only 0.1 Hz difference into the Nyquist frequency, and we see that the sampling values in both of these signals are of exactly the same values at each point in time, at each sampling instant in time. This also means in reverse that if we only know about the sampled values of the signal, we cannot distinguish whether we sampled the blue signal or we sampled the red signal, because all the sampling values would be the same forever. There exist many more for example, the frequency 1.6 or 1.4 Hz, you see them here with different colors. They all share this property that we get exactly the same value at all of the sampling values. There are infinitely many more higher signal frequencies in which this is the case. So that illustrates that only up to the Nyquist frequency, this is half the sampling frequency, a signal can be reconstructed exactly.